Okay, guys, so you're going to start off from a flying start through club corner. It's going to pause and then it's all going to be down to you. Don't forget to use the gears up on the right, down the left. Okay, so we're going to blast through the first corner of Abbey, which is easily flat in these and indeed real and one cars. We've got, uh, who's in the lead uh, at the moment? We've got, I think he's over this side actually, our driver in the lead is Johnny Chicotta, who's no longer in the lead actually, he's just had a half spin there. Uh, I think it's therefore going to be our uh, sim racer Neil, who's in the lead and leading the way, but uh, the, these guys are just uh, on GP2 drivers only, just working out how the uh, brakes are, how the accelerator's working, and a fantastic line through there. And one thing I'd say is that actually, uh, the first lap that uh, just any, any member of the public tends to get on to uh, the uh, sim does is just drive straight off the track, takes two or three laps to get their head around it. Uh, these boys generally have uh, jumped on and uh, ended up going pretty much bang on the line and uh, absolutely accurately uh, using all the width of the road as well. So that tells you roughly how, uh, how easy it is for a race driver to adapt pretty quickly, which therefore tells you just how accurate the sim is. So coming round, completing the, uh, the final lap, or completing the uh, final few corners of the uh, qualifying lap. It's all important, so we've got uh, player 5, well that is indeed Neil, he's popped in a 1 minute 34.5. Most, most impressive lap, but what is massively impressive is, uh, who we got over here, who's done that? Raphael, well you put it on pole, you put it on P2. In, uh, in this section as well, so massively impressive. One minute thirty-five point seven four. Are you sure you haven't been practicing? I think you might have been. That's very, very impressive.